Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm just gonna jump right into this video. It's one that I have been nervous about making and have thought about making for a long time and I just want to put it out there. Excuse Bruce and his snorting. Do you wanna say hi? I think this is gonna be our new thing. <laughs> say hello. Okay, are you gonna be quiet now? Anyway. So I've obviously not been very diligent in making my videos regularly this past year of 2020 and a lot as I've mentioned in other videos has happened and and I did mention in one of those videos recently that I made that I have met someone so this video I want to make for all of you that have watched my coming out story. This is kind of a continuation of that video because my life is ongoing it's a continuation things change if you would have told me what my life was going to actually be like when i was say 12 or 13 and said this is what's going to happen to you up until you're 35 i would not have believed you i really had mapped out a different plan especially at that age but but i am forever grateful and i don't have any regrets there's always things i know when people say they don't have regrets there's definitely things I would have done differently and I'm talking about from 12 years old onwards. There's lots of things I would have done differently. Um, but then again, if you told me that if I changed those things, I wouldn't be where I am now, then I would have to just leave as is. And every mistake, every hardship, every tear, every breakup, every, you know, desperate moment I've had in my life thus far has just made me a more empathetic, compassionate, understanding person and also, you know, a more emotionally aware and stronger person. So I'm grateful for that. <laughs> okay, Bruce. In regards to today's video, um, in, I don't know what year that was, when I was 33 years old, I'm 35 now, I made a video titled My Coming Out Story and I'll link it below in, in this video. So if you want, you can watch it. And the reason I made that video was because I felt like there was probably other people in the world that were experiencing or were about to experience the things that I was going through or that I had gone through. And I wanted to share my story in hopes of giving people permission to, you know, make decisions in their life. Give people permission to make decisions in their life that could lead them to living a more authentic, fulfilling, and happy life. Okay, are you, where are you going? Up until I was 27 years old, I was in um, relationships with men, uh, or boys, I would say, because I was, we were young. And so, I was in a very serious relationship from age 21 to 27 with someone and we almost got married and then we didn't. And that I tell you more about that in my other video so you can go watch that if you would like. When I left that relationship, I did so with the intent of opening my heart up to the option that love could look different for me. And my next relationship was a same-sex relationship with a woman. And for the next like three or four years, I was in two serious relationships with women. And, you know, I was happy and I felt I was in love, but I also dealt with, you know, some difficulties in those relationships as we all do that's what dating people and being in relationships is all about you can you not do that right now i love you so much can you not lick yourself he's cleaning his feet okay you're done so the truth of the matter is i don't really I'm not gonna name names of people that I was in relationships with, but I also don't think it's normal or correct to just describe somebody by their gender, but that's kind of how I have to do this because I don't wanna use real names because I wanna respect 
those relationships that I was in and I value those experiences that I had with those people. But just for context so that you can understand my story, I'm just adding that information in. So I dated women for a few years and then I met my last partner of whom I got married to and while I was with that person, they came out as trans and non-binary. <laughs> I'll move over so you can be in the video. But... And this is the thing, when you watch my other video where I talk about my coming out experience, I've never felt comfortable with labels or labeling myself. Um, when I was dating women, I didn't feel the label of lesbian fit who I was. I wasn't, I just didn't want to commit to that label because I've always had an open heart and been open to the idea of loving people rather than loving someone because of their gender. So I never really identified as anything throughout this whole experience. When I came out to my family, I was most comfortable using the term gay or queer, but I never even said that honestly. I just said that this is a this is the person that I'm dating now. This is the person I'm with now. This is the person I'm going to be marrying. And that's the only way I can explain it. I'm not gonna go any deeper than that or try and, and give myself a label or that person a label because people change and grow and evolve. And I just don't feel like labels are necessarily helpful for all of us. They might be for some, It might you might feel connected to that identity and I fully support that, but it's just not anything that I've ever felt strongly connected to. I saw a quote once that said something along the lines of whoever you choose to love doesn't define you, doesn't define who you are. And I agree with that. I've always been myself, no matter what relationship I've been in or what partnership I've had, that hasn't defined me or who I am or who I will love in the future, if that makes sense. I have never felt more connected with who I am in terms of being aware of my emotions and feeling confident in the decisions that I make about my life. For a large period of my life, I definitely did things because I felt that's what I should do, what was expected of me, what was the right thing to do. And I've slowly learned that that's not going to help anybody, especially me. Um, it's not going to be beneficial to the people I'm in relationships with. It's not going to be beneficial to friends, family, anyone. So I've learned that I really just need to follow my heart and be unapologetic about what that looks like. So it's been about a year since the ending of my last relationship. And it definitely has taken me this long to work through all of the healing that is involved in that. But I also have always let myself be open to the idea of falling in love again. Um, I've said in many videos that I'm a hopeless romantic and it really is what I am. I love love and romance and cheesy stuff and poetry and love stories and sad music and happy music. And I just, I'm such a sucker for all of it. And I, I don't want to ever change. And no matter how many times it doesn't work out, I just want to get right back on that horse because I love it so much. And I do believe that there is someone out there for everyone. I feel like there's a few people out there for everyone. You know, you just have to try. It either works out and you live happily ever after, or it doesn't work out and you learn something that's really gonna contribute to the next relationship and person that you're with. So I met someone new recently. By recently, I mean in this year. Um, I met them actually before the pandemic happened, around right before the pandemic happened. And it was one of those situations, which I'm sure a few of you out there can relate to where you've met someone or you're in a relationship and then a global pandemic happens and you're going to have to self isolate and quarantine. And you're just like, do you, should we do this? Are we gonna do this? And we just decided to go for it. And it turns out we're very compatible for each other. And 
I'm just gonna say his name is Jeremy and I've asked him if I can talk about him. He said yes. And the only reason I have any hesitation about sharing something like this is because of the very few negative comments that I ever receive on any of my videos. And honestly, they come from a very uh, small group, a very <laughs> small group of people that all have um, a few attributes in common. <sighs> and even though it's a very small group of negative people, <laughs> It's still, it's still hurtful because I want to live in a world where everybody is just accepting and understanding and loving and also that you, if you don't like something, then you don't have to, you don't have to follow my channel. You don't have to watch my videos. You don't have to support me in any way. That's totally fine. I'm such a sensitive soul. So even, so then I'm just like, why are you following me? Why are you watching my stuff? If you think I'm a horrible person or you think that what I what I do is wrong. So you're just, that just means you're an extra mean person going out of your way to hurt another person. And that makes me sad about humanity. But anyways, um, the majority of people in my life, um, oh, everyone in my life, let's be clear. All my friends and family have always ever just wanted to see me happy. And so over this last year, I've, you know, been working through a lot of things but also have been um, very happy and feeling very excited about my future and very thankful that I gave this relationship a chance and so the reason this video for me is a big deal is because I want everyone that has watched my coming out story to know that there is no there's no restrictions there's no hard stop there's no you can't once you do this you can't do that and that's something that i feel like in different communities people might feel that sometimes i felt that in different stages of my life that you know because i was a part of this community i can't talk about my past or things that i've people i've been with or relationships i've had <sighs> the reality is is that you have to be comfortable and confident in yourself and your decisions and your heart and not really listen to anybody else because anybody that questions you or tries to cast doubt in your mind about who you are, they're not people you wanna have in your life anyway. And I think a more modern take on love is that you can love anyone and when you choose to love this person, that still means that in the future you can love that person. I stand for living with an open heart and I think there's a spectrum for love and you should have the freedom to make those decisions and not be judged and not have to be put into a box or categorized as this or that, or feel like you're not representing a community or a group. A lot of my adult life, I would say my late 20s to early 30s, I have felt at stages that I had to not share my full story because parts of it were going to be looked down on or parts would be dismissed or, you know, I would be labeled as this or that. And this is the first time in my life at 35 years old that I feel like I can share my whole story. There's no shame attached to any of it. I feel like I've been a brave person in my life by really living my authentic self, by following my heart, regardless of what other people might say or think about it. And I'm proud to have made it to where I am now, where I feel like the person that I'm presenting in my current relationship is the most authentic, true version of myself that I've ever been able to present to another person. So obviously if you've watched any of the other videos, you could put two and two together that Bruce here, <laughs> um, I've adopted through Jeremy. He has allowed me to become a part of this little family and it's been such an amazing, wonderful past nine or 10 months. And we are super happy. And he is a really great person that 
also lives life similar to me in terms of a very open heart and he knows my whole story and didn't blink an eye when I told him and that's the way that it should be and I know his story too and whatever story that you have I hope that you can be proud of it because whether you've been successful or you failed or things have been hard or things have been great it's really built you up to who you are now and we all it's so valuable for us all to have very unique different stories because if we all live the same story what would be the point of getting to know anybody else what would be so special about the relationships you build with other people i'm definitely comfortable now in saying that i have no idea what the future will hold i used to love to think i could plan it out or that i could have some sort of inkling but as 2020 has shown us, you cannot really make any kind of plan because life has a way of throwing it all out the window. I never imagined any of this would have happened or that I would be here now, especially a year from now when I made my video about breaking up with my ex and moving out on my own. That was the winter of 2019. And here we are in 2020 and life has completely changed for me in the most wonderful way. I just hope that in making this video and being very honest with you about what's going on in my life now that if you are in a similar situation or you know someone who might be that you're able to just support them or you're able to find support and you're able to just continue to live your life as who you are not defined by anybody else or anybody's expectations but just following your own happiness because really at the end of the day if this year has taught us anything is that life is short nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow and that you only have your one life to live it's just up to you you're not you shouldn't be living it for anybody else and it's not selfish to live your life on your own terms so i'm hoping moving forward that i can make more videos now of what's going on now that this is all out and I've got it off my chest and 2021 is almost here <laughs> so let's just keep our fingers crossed that it's only up from here thank you so much for tuning in comment below and share your stories I love to read them um, if you've gone through something similar or you know someone who has and I wish you guys a lot of love and happiness and and health for 2021. Say bye, Bruce. Say bye. Bye. Bye.